Hi, everybody. My name is Karen Batty, Senior Director with The Pampered Chef. And um, just the other day, I got a call from somebody who got the pineapple wedge, and she said, how does this thing work? Uh, most people who uh, buy the pineapple wedger have owned an apple wedger and they tend to use it like an apple wedger and then it doesn't work for them. However, once you know how this works, you are going to absolutely love it. So I figured it's easier to make a video to show you than it is to explain. First of all, do you know how to buy a fresh pineapple? I'm told there's two ways of doing it. First of all, smell the bottom. It should smell like fresh pineapple. And then the other thing is to pull on the leaves on the top. If you can actually pull the pineapple up off of the shelf and swing it back and forth and that leaf doesn't come out, then chances are it's not fresh. So that's how you buy a fresh pineapple. Now, why would the heck would you want one of our pineapple wedges? Well, if you're like me, you love fresh pineapple, but it's such a hassle to, to peel it. It's such a big mess. Also, if you're like me, you might not want to peel the entire pineapple all at once. Normally, it's such a hassle, you just want to get it over with and then hurry up and eat that pineapple over the next 24, 48 hours before it goes bad. But when you have the pineapple wedger, you can actually wedge just an inch or two at a time, leaving the rest, the rest of the pineapple intact with the leaves and then eat it slowly over a week, week and a half time, which you can do when you have our pineapple wedger. Okay, so let me show you how it works. All right, the first thing you want to do is cut off the top and the bottom of the pineapple. So you have two flat surfaces, like so. Now, if you're like me and you want to do the whole pineapple, you still probably need to cut it in half because it just makes it a little bit easier to, um, to get over the pineapple so you can kind of lean into it a bit. Okay, so if I want to do the whole pineapple, I, I still tend to do it in two sections. If I want just a little bit, I just cut off about an inch or so and wedge that part. So <clears throat> you've got two pieces here. You've got the plastic case and then you've got the wedger itself. So you take the wedger like this, the bottom side, very, very sharp, like a knife. So you don't want to be touching that, but you just align it like this. And then you just want to wiggle it, okay? You don't want to press it straight down like you would an apple wedger because then that's going to take a lot of muscle. But you just sort of rock it back and forth until you hit the cutting board. Now you're not done yet. That's when you're going to get the plastic case that comes with it, put it underneath because it has these little indentations in it, and then you're going to pop the pineapple the rest of the way through. Ta -da. Okay, so now you just take these parts out like this. And now here are the nice fresh pieces that you're gonna to use to eat. This part, I'm told you can toss or you can put it in a water bottle so you have like infused pineapple in your water. Or I had a host who said she plops it in her vodka so she can make um, <laughs> pineapple infused vodka, whatever you like. And now this, you just slice it this way and like this. And there you have it. Mm, sorry, I couldn't resist. Nice fresh pineapple. So I hope that answers any questions you might have. And uh, happy eating. How do I stop the?